Hi, I'm Reva with Quality Sewing and Vacuum, and we just did a charity sew along, and we made these great little backpacks, and they're a drawstring backpack, as you can see. You can wear them about town, but the best thing is that we're coming together as a community to benefit others. And in the Seattle area, we've chosen to donate our bags to Mary's Place, and we are accepting donations of this bag at any one of our stores and through May 31st. And if you don't live in the area, we're happy to have you mail them to us. Um, and then we will send them on to Mary's Place. So Mary's Place is a great nonprofit that uh, wants to give uh, women and their children a safe and warm, dry place to sleep and help get them assistance to get uh, careers and get job placement and things like that. So they're a great organization and we want to help those kiddos feel like they're important. Now, one thing came up in class when we did it live is, well, how do you cut out the fabric? So we thought we would show you that today because it's really, really simple. So the only thing that you need for one of the backpacks, now there's two different sizes that come in the instructions. There's a child size and then there's a youth size. This is the youth size. So we're gonna talk about that. This is two pieces of fabric that are six, I'm sorry, 19 inches by 16 inches, okay? Then the pocket, should you choose to put a pocket on it, is 16 inches by 12 inches, and you need two pieces of that so it's lined, okay? And then you need some handles and some love, and that's about it. And in the video, you're gonna see how to do things on your sewing machine. You're gonna see how to do them on a serger. So either way you wanna do them, you're gonna see how to uh, put them together. You're also gonna learn how to do a bound finish and how to make your own straps. So we go through lots of things. We also, kind of go through our, our instructions there, and we talk about different fun tops that you can put on your pocket, like how to attach beads with your sewing machine, and how to put in rickrack, and to make beautiful piping inset into your pocket top. So there's lots of things that we're gonna talk about. But let's talk first about how to cut that fabric out. Now, I mentioned that you need for the use size a 16 by 19 inch piece of fabric. Well, if you only have half yard cuts at home, use it. Now that's 18 inches, so you're gonna be a little bit shorter. It won't be quite as tall, but what a great way to get rid of some of those fabrics that you have at home that maybe are remnants from a project, or maybe you've lost the joy of using them. And did you know that if you get rid of a half yard of fabric, you can come buy a brand new half yard or more of fabric. It's like an unwritten rule. So get out the old and bring in some new. So let's look at how, that, how that's gonna work for you. So we're gonna go on the idea that we're gonna work with 18 inches of, um, of fabric for our, for our project. And so if you're gonna make your own straps and you're doing the teen size, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is give yourself some strap fabric. Now this is only going to work if you are indeed going to do, um, if you have more than a half yard of fabric because you're gonna to need to cut yourself enough for three widths of fabric at whatever width you're going to do. So I'm doing a six inch cut here. So that way I have six inch. You'll need three strips of two inch if you're gonna make, if you're gonna start with a two inch. A two inch will work out to be a half inch finished when you're done. So that's a perfect width to start with. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now let's say I only have 18 inches worth of fabric. So I'm gonna come over here and just lay out my fabric and let's give ourselves 18 inches. So that would be right here at my, I'm having to math today. Okay, so this is my 18 inches. So this will be the height of the bag. So now let's talk about how to subdivide that fabric down. So this is gonna be our bag height. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna trim off my selvage because you don't wanna sew that into your project. So we're gonna cut that off 
And now we need our uh, project to be the 19 by 16. So I'm going to come over to 16 inches. Let me get on a mark that, that makes it easier for me to, to math right there. So here's 16 inches. Now, if you're doing it the way the directions, remember this would be 19, but we're working with a half yard, so that's 18. And then we've got our 16 inches here, which is the width of the bag. So now you have your two pieces. You have your front and your back of your bag. And you have this one little piece left over. And this is good for one pocket piece because this is, if you trimmed pretty well, this is 12 inches, so don't take too much off of your selvage. This is 12 inches when it's opened up and we need it to be um, 16 inches high. So I'll go to my 16 inch mark on my mat and cut that. So the only waste that we have out of this whole fabric are these two pieces. That's all that you have left from a half of a yard. Now. I did that same thing out of another piece of fabric. So here's my six inch strip. And then there's my waist. Here's my small piece that should be the same size of that. And of course, if you press yours, it'll be much better. And then here is my piece. So I am ready to make two tote bags out of two half yard cuts. Now, you'll notice that I only have one pocket because you need two pieces for your pocket. So you could choose to put this on only one piece of fabric or get some other fabric from your stash and put a different fabric as the lining. You can do something completely different from the lining of the pocket because it really doesn't show. So then you can stash bust some more. And then you're able to create a cute little drawstring bag in no time at all. The first one you make, of course, will take a little bit longer, but if you are gonna make a several, then go ahead and do one step on all of them that you're gonna do, then do the second step on all of them, and you'll find that it really doesn't take much more time to put several together. Okay, now one more thing I wanted to tell you is that if you have a bunch of fat quarters laying around, so a fat quarter, is actually bigger than the piece of fabric that we need. So you could choose to use a fat quarter and trim off and trim it to size and you would have very, very little waste, but it's completely a fat quarter friendly project as well. So we hope that you're gonna enjoy watching the video on how to make the bag. We're gonna show you how to make the drawstrings, how to put the pocket on, the whole bit. So please join with us and let's put our sewing skills to use to make our community a better place and benefit others.